top 10 ab exercises part 2. Enjoy the video. Hi guys, welcome to Buff Body. I'm Dieter. Today we'll be shooting our second part of our top 10 ab exercises, number 6 up to 10. Welcome. Let's get started with the first one. It's a basic plank with a reach out. Again, if you remember from last time, we're working on anti-extensions on planks. So you don't want your belly button to drop. You don't want your bum to stick out. You want a rounded or flat back. Belly button in, squeeze your abdominals, squeeze the glutes, push the pubic bone front, squeeze your glutes hard. That's the basic of these plank exercises. So, now, what happens a lot is when you're doing the first one, which is a plank with a reach out, is that you're gonna rotate onto the side where you're leaning on to get to the object you wanna touch. It can be a foam roller, it can be a bottle of wine, it can be everything. Well, maybe better not a bottle of wine, anything. So, don't stick the bum up, don't drop the belly button, but when you're reaching out, try to keep the hip horizontal, parallel to the floor, not leaning onto your supporting leg and elbow. So, completely flat. From there, you have to drive your body front, extending your ankles and back. And then you switch to the other side. I can't get there, so I have to drive front, tap, and go. One last time. Don't drop the hips. Don't stick big hips up. Squeeze the glutes tight and push the belly button towards the spine. And then you reach front and you reach front. Plank with reach out. Next exercise, plank with the pull. Very like the plank with the reach out, but you add a traction, a pull. Now, in the gym, would also perfectly work with a low pulley, with a cable, but over here it's nice with the band. Top traction at the end. So, um, again, it's an anti-extension exercise because you don't want your belly button to drop and your back to hyperextend. Therefore, you need a little posterior tilt again in the hip, belly button in, glutes tight, pubic bone front. From there, you lift one elbow and from there becomes anti-rotational as well. Because you can't lean on one side and you can't drop to the ground, so obliques have to fire up to keep your body straight. From there, you pull, biceps engaged, slowly out, pull, slowly out. Now, if you want to focus even more on the obliques and you want to bring in rear delts, rhomboids, lower traps, you turn 90 degree in, so that means the band and the trunk make a 90 degree angle, elbow in front of the band, not a wide support with the feet because that's too easy, feet in, belly button in, fire up your glutes, from there you pull out slowly in, keep the shoulders parallel to the ground, don't bring the shoulders up to lean. From there, pull out, slowly in, plank and pull. All right guys, next one, ab rollout with an ab wheel. You know where you can get the ab wheel, description below. Um, one of the harder ex exercises technically to perform and it's also a hard one to perform because of the strength you have to have in your midsection, the core. So, how not to do it? Don't leave the bum behind and roll out like this. There you're not working anything at all. First thing you want to do is pushing the belly button in, hide your glutes, push the pubic bone front. Then the first thing is you want to drop your trunk before you even think of sticking the wheel front. Now, when you're there more or less in a 45 degree angle, that's where you want to open up the angle in your shoulders, stick your head in between your arms, and then first close the angle in the shoulders before you go back with the bump. So, glutes in, belly button in, first you bring the shoulders front, and then you bring the hands front. Bring the hands back, and then the shoulders back. Shoulders front, without dropping the hips, belly button in, shoulders front, and then the hands front. Always make sure you don't stick the bum back or you drop the hips as always. Ab roll out. Now, bonus, a little harder. Do exactly the same, but with dumbbells. I say a little harder, but it's a lot harder because then you can play with different things. You can include the chest, the pecs. So, you can do it normal, like this, or 
you can open up and work it as a fly. Or you can make one go straight on, the other one goes sideways and switch to the other side. So that brings an extra element in that not only works the midsections but also shoulder and chest. All right, hope you like this one. Okay, next exercise, very popular exercise within CrossFit. It's called the hollow rock. Um, so people that do CrossFit will know this for sure. You have the same basic position as the dead bug that we had in the first series, like this, where you turn the hips in, posterior tilt, belly button down, glutes up, feet in the air, shoulder blades in the air, round the back. From there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lower your legs. You can try to lower one leg first, one hand back first, then second leg low, second hand back, like this. If you find that too hard, you can alternate bending one knee at a time, like this. But the original version is like this. Now, guys, if this is easy for you, what you can do is do them swinging, but swinging only when you are in perfect control of your lumbar pelvic area. So this section, always pushing the belly button down, make sure there's no bridge and then you can roll up and down, but it should be rolling. This is no good, all right? Not with a flat back on the ground, your back should stay round the whole time, so you are rolling back and front, all right? That makes it a lot harder. Hollow lock, don't stop the video there, because you have a version where you are pointing, no, where you are facing down, but that works the same muscles in exactly the same way, and that is a superman hold. You have the same hollow rock position, but you're just upside down. And the more you open up, the harder it is. If you open up even more, it becomes almost impossible to hold. All right. So, both exercises that work the same way, but you're just facing up, facing down. All right. The last exercise of our second series of the 10 um, best ab exercises is going to be a hybrid. So it's not going to be purely anti-extension, it's all gonna, also going to work the transfers and the obliques. Um, why do I like it so much? Because it's so complete. It's called windscreen wipers. Why windscreen wipers? Because your legs look like they are following the movement of a windscreen wiper. So. Again, we start from the dead bug position, head in the air, shoulder blades in the air, keep the disc high. Then you go down with your legs in the middle, making sure that the belly button stays pushed down, that you don't have a bridge. From there, you go up to the side, use the weight as a counterweight, go down again in the middle, and use the weight as a counterweight as your feet go up towards the other side. Down in the middle, up to the side. Shoulder blades stay in the air, lumbar spine stays on the ground. Now, this weight can be a disc, it can be a dumbbell, it can be a bar, it can be basically anything that weighs enough to support, to keep you uh, in stable, to keep you stable when you're performing the exercise and that works as a counterweight towards both sides. I think for girls something that weighs around 10 kilos would be good, for guys something that weighs around 15 kilo is perfect. That was the windscreen wiper. Alright, that's it for the second part of our ab exercises top 10. Um, again, if you need any of the equipment that we work with in the video, you know you can find the info in the link in the description. Um, furthermore, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sure later on we will come up with more abdominal exercises because there's way too many to show in two videos, but it's nice to have a top 10. So if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. Also make sure you subscribe. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.